The reality of our business environment here is often a vicious one due to lack of regulations, policies and legislations um, that are not so greatly enforced. For me, uh, corruption has affected the Pacific region in many ways. But the worst is that it undermines development. And when development is undermined, it affects young people to fully participate and be prosperous as agent of change to provide solution to the many problems that we have in our society, including corruption. My name is Millicent Bati. I am a social entrepreneur and I am also the chair of the Young Entrepreneurs Council of Solomon Islands. COVID-19 has affected many businesses in substantial ways. It's already quite hard for young entrepreneurs to compete in markets. And with COVID-19, we're finding that we're constantly having to diversify in order to survive. My name is Philip Manakako. I work within the Office of the Prime Minister as an anti-corruption secretary. Uh, I'm part of the Pacific Youth Forum Against Corruption, which is working with young youth champion on the agendas of anti-corruption, as well as on the global stage to amplify youth voice on matters of anti-corruption and how youth can be part of this uh, fight against corruption. Uh, we partnered with UN Prac to co-host the Business Integrity Workshop for Young Entrepreneurs. Not only have they been informed of the unethical practices that surround them, but they've also been equipped with tools and measures that they can actually apply when circumstances arise um, and therefore make the best decisions and act with integrity. In the Pacific Youth Forum Against Corruption, uh, we have a toolkit and we train youths to understand what is corruption, what corruption means to them in their own language and in their own locality and how it affects them. It helps them to understand why it is important for them to be part of this fight. In 2018, the government has passed the anti-corruption bill together with the whistle blower protection bill. And I see these two legislative tools as very fundamental for the fight against corruption. As a child, I used to go out fishing with my father every day. And those moments are very important for me growing up. And during this fishing trip, I learned how important it was for me to respect the sea and the environment to which we live. Our Pacific Islands, is not only sinking because of global warming, but we are sinking also because of corruption. And this calls for responsibility. What little or large action that we each choose to take is equally as important. So I actually want to acknowledge all the youth advocates and activists of the Solomon Islands to inspire the next generation to acquire this attitude that if not me, then who? If me no moi, who ma I do? The moment is here. We need to take ownership of this and be part of the solution.